my question for you today is what are your plans for 2019? Well, Rachel, thank you. It's glad to be here with you. Uh, I chair the Agriculture Environment Committee. And so one of the things my top priority is to uh, utilize more local foods, uh, increase our local food production and consumption here. We spend $3 billion every year importing 90% of our food. So actually one of the main missions I have in life now is recruiting young farmers. Would you like to be a farmer? <laughs> Don't want to put you on the spot. Uh, but uh, there's over 800,000 acres of available ag land, and so it's not a question of not enough land. Uh, the reality is we are, the average age of farmers in Hawaii is 64. So that's why we need young people to, or anyone really, to start thinking about farming and start providing our, uh, our food locally. So that's number one. And then the part of that, though, is uh, recently... Uh, the president signed a bill, uh, the Farm Bill, the 2018 Farm Bill, which removes industrial hemp from the controlled substance list. And so now, this here, this is called hempcrete instead of concrete. And there's a guy, a former NBA coach on Maui, he built his home out of hempcrete, taking the stalks of the plant, the hemp plant, mixing it with lye and water. And the neat thing about it is, it's, it, it, it breathes, it's anti-mildew. And so uh, there's 25,000 different products. And if you take a look here, this my briefcase here is made out of hemp. And then I've got just a few of the samples of all kinds of di different hemp products here. And so my vision, when I introduced four bills that passed starting in 2014, is a cottage industry here in Hawaii using hemp and Hawaiian hemp shampoo, Hawaiian hemp granola. I have a couple of Aloha shirts that are made out of hemp. And using the Hawaii branding so that Hawaii becomes the hemp capital of the planet. And we have a wonderful growing season here with three harvests, and so I'm hopeful that that will happen. My second priority is single-use plastics. We use too many plastic straws, for example. So I've introduced a bill that's going to ban the use of plastic straws. A lot of folks out there don't know that in the U.S., 500 million plastic straws are used every single day. And that's crazy because it affects our marine life. It gets out there, you know, the, the, the fish and the turtles are eating this stuff and it's killing them. And so here's a solution. One solution that I use, stainless steel straw, right? And you got a little cleaner brush right here. You just clean it up, right? Then there it is. I carry it around anytime I'm going to a restaurant or anything. I got my straw here. And I also, just decreasing the use of plastic, right? Then I carry this as well. I've got my, there's my chopsticks, right? Just carry that around so I don't have to use plastic. Uh, 60 Minutes recently did a, a, a incredible special on the use of plastics and how it's harming our environment. So all of us really need to start thinking about, we live in paradise, so we need to think about protecting our paradise, right? So those are the two major issues that I'm working on. So how do you plan to incorporate the use of plastic? How do you plan to, like, how do you plan to ban, like, the use of plastic? Like well, the you know, there's a whole uh, a whole bunch of restaurants that are already banned. You know, that and polystyrene uh, uh, styrene containers. I've got another bill that would uh, have restaurants and others uh, use compostable takeout containers instead of polystyrene. That's another harmful uh, for t harmful to our environment. So that's you pass it, and then you give uh, restaurants or whatever people time to get rid of their stock, and then. You know, other, other cities and other states are doing this now. Other countries are doing this now. And it's time for Hawaii to lead the way and set a good example. This is Rachel Ross reporting from the Capitol. Do you have any last words? Well, I would just like to encourage the, your viewers to get involved in the process. Our session starts the third Wednesday of every January and goes until the first week in May. And there's over 3,000 bills that are introduced. And usually about 200 pass into law. But it's not just the 76 legislators that are important in a democracy. Every single person who can vote is important. And it's important because we need to hear the input 
from people out there, your parents, your aunties and uncles, your grandparents, on ideas on how we can improve our living conditions here in paradise. So I would just encourage everyone to please get involved in the process. Not only vote, but find out which the bills that they're interested in are being introduced. Come down and testify if you're in favor of it or you're opposed to it and get involved in the process.